Okay, this is my custom Dell XPS 400. And you might say, well, hey, I got a custom Dell. It's no big deal. I went onto their website and I customized a crap out of mine. Yeah. Uh, not quite as custom as this one. Why, you ask? Well, let's do a little exploring. This is a Dell XPS 400. It's a BTX form factor. It's a uh, Pentium dual core, which is actually uh, basically just a stripped down Core 2 Duo. Uh, okay, so let me start off by saying that this computer, when I got it, had coffee spilled into the intake fan, and coffee blew through the BTX uh, intake all over the motherboard fried the motherboard um, yeah that really sucked so then I had to uh, when I got it I uh, had to take the entire thing apart everything off of this case and I do mean everything every part you can imagine um, took them all off washed it washed the inside of the case out uh, soaked the fans in water <laughs> and you know then Washed them out like by hand, as good as I possibly could. They they came out really, you know, pretty decent. Um, anyways, so when I ordered the new motherboard, I knew I was gonna have to do some hardware mods, and let's begin. <laughs> One of the first hardware mods that I had to do, so right here, uh, that is the uh, I/O plate, and I had to cut out. Show you right there. Um, I had to cut out the. Uh, old I.O. plate because it was actually, there was no plate there. I mean, it was just one solid uh, piece of aluminum um, built into the case, which really sucks. I, you know, that's one reason why I don't like Dell and I don't like uh, proprietary hardware setups. Like, you know, BTX was Intel's proprietary hardware setup and it was a really uh, epic failure. I mean, seriously nothing good about it. <laughs> anyway, so I started off by cutting out the back I.O. plate. Super. Uh, then I had to uh, get a 24 pin cable extension because the uh, power supply was not uh, long enough to reach down to there on the motherboard where the uh, normal uh, BTX pinout would be. So, yeah, that was kind of lame. Um, I did get a Intel uh, a standard Intel motherboard um, for this XPS 400 and it is actually a uh, D945GCZ um, BTX board. Now uh, BTX is a form factor um, ATX versus BTX. Yeah BTX is terrible and they don't make it anymore because it was complete crap. Well I mean, it had some good ideas going, but uh, the fact that like I had to do this much hardware mods to put my own motherboard in is complete crap. And okay, so to get the uh, front panel to work, you know, like the wonderful power switch and all that crap, um, they had it going to a proprietary Dell uh, super like super wide 40 pin cable, and I had to adapt that cable. <laughs> well, rewire it. Um, to a uh, four by two brick. Yeah, there's the uh, rewire, and see, so yeah, I had to tape the rest of it off because the wires uh, kind of weren't quite long enough. I would have had to split that into three bricks because normally it would be, uh, you know, the LED and the power switch and reset button um, go into one block, and then the uh, USB ports go into one block and then the audio goes into another block. So that, that I would have had to split that into three blocks. Unfortunately there wasn't enough cable there to do that. Uh, and I was done testing things with my multimeter just after I found the power switch and the LED. I said, uh, well, screw it. Good enough. It works. Um, yeah, so uh, this board has on onboard video and I disabled that because onboard video is crap and uh, I'm loading Windows 7 on here so I needed something a little more powerful. So I slapped 
a uh, ATI X300 in here. It's just enough to run the arrow, so nothing fancy, but it gets the job done. Um, yeah, the uh, BTX form factor, terrible, terrible form factor. Um, yeah, and then when I got all that done, <laughs> the uh, fan, um, the BTX fan, when I turned it on, would run at full speed, and it sounded like a freaking tornado in your room, and it was very unpleasant. So uh, then I had to get really creative and wire in a actual fan controller, and you can see it right there. Um, and yeah, I just uh, have it like black taped the wires together right now. I'll, I'll go back and uh, solder that and clean it up a little bit. But uh, yeah, so that fan controller, there's the uh, fan control speed knob back there. Pretty sweet. Um, there's the uh, wireless in card that I put in this thing because uh, the first uh, wireless card that I was going to slap in this thing actually didn't have support for uh, Windows 7 64 bit, so I had to yank it and get a new card for it. So I figured why not upgrade it to wireless in. Cool. Um, I think that's about all the mods that I had to do to go into this thing. I also, uh, I put some new RAM in there, it's DDR800. Um, it doesn't actually run at DDR800, it runs at DDR667 uh, or DDR666. Um, yeah, it just runs with much uh, tighter timings, so it still gets a speed boost out of it. Uh, oh yeah, and I put a new uh, longer SATA cable in there, that red one right there. Um, yeah, so that's, I think that's pretty much it, but as you can see, um, that's like super ridiculous for, uh, you know, just just to put a new BTX motherboard into this case. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think you should have to do, you know, that much hardware modding. Should not have to happen. Um, that's why BTX failed. That's why, uh, you know, ATX form factor is so much better. It's very universal. Um, you know, lots of different manufacturers can make different parts for it, and it, and it all, you know, pretty much works. <laughs> I'm not going to say 100%, but pretty much. Um, yeah, with uh, BTX, see, you have the uh, intake here. Straight through. Um, anyways, that's the uh, air intake. Goes into that fan right there. Goes through the heat sink right there. And you can kind of see the back of the heat sink in there. Um, yeah. And it's ideally, you know, it blows all the air straight out the back of the case. Not a super bad design, but uh, the way it all worked out in the end was pretty terrible. And they also had to uh, stick the RAM up above, and it's not getting quite as much airflow up there. Um, ideally, they said it was supposed to, you know, run the RAM cooler, but I kind of don't believe that you're getting any benefit um, from sticking the RAM up there than uh, sticking the RAM where it is in an ATX case. Uh, also, the other thing is they couldn't make all of the RAM traces on the motherboard equal length to the processor, so um, that really screwed with uh, RAM timings and high-speed RAM. So yeah, that, in the end, that is partially why BTX was completely scrapped, is because they could not make all the traces on the board the same length to go to the CPU, whereas uh, with ATX they can. Um, they're all equal length, get the most uh, speed out of your RAM, push the hardware as fast as possible. So yeah, uh, I think that pretty much covers all the mods I did. Oh, I also uh, I lapped the processor and heatsink because they were uh, both had some air pockets in them um, that were kind of scaring me. And I also uh, took the heatsink off the motherboard um, and I put some Arctic Silver 5 uh, in between that heat sink and the uh, north bridge on there. So it, it should definitely run uh, quite a bit cooler than it would otherwise. Um, yep, so custom, uh, true, true custom Dell XPS 400. And uh, yeah, the average user is not 
going to be able to do uh, some of these hardware mods and um, even if they can they probably don't want to uh, I can tell you that I will not be doing any more BTX hardware mods ever again yep not gonna happen no no not gonna happen I am absolutely thoroughly pissed off with the BTX form factor so uh, yeah, maybe this will, uh, you know, push computer companies, especially Dell here, um, to maybe use uh, less proprietary form factors in the future, and also not use proprietary uh, pinouts for stuff, you know, as simple as the uh, power button and the uh, front panels and stuff. They should just use the standard pinouts because it makes sense. Um, and you know, 10 years later, when Dell stops making the frickin' motherboard for this thing, and you have to replace it, uh, you don't want to go through that much hell. You just throw it away and buy a new computer. Um, I actually did all this, <laughs> put a lot of time, effort, and money into it, and uh, I'm actually just giving it away uh, to a family member that, you know, needs a, a newer computer. So, yep. Anyways.